how's it feel to score in a World Cup? Yeah, I, th I think um, it's probably not really sunk in yet. But at the same time, it's mixed emotions, you know. On a personal note, it's, it's fantastic. It's an amazing feeling and, and you know, it's pure elation in, in the moment. Um, but at the same time, we, we lost the game, so it was disappointing from, from that aspect. Um, but individually, it's something that I'll, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. But I won't focus on that right now because we have a game in three days um, against Tunisia and the group is still wide open. After that moment, though, did you feel like you guys were on top there for a little bit? And you, you weren't trying to wait, you were attacking, you were going after them. Absolutely, and, and in parts of the game, um, I think we played really well. Uh, I think in the end, they had the quality in the, in the small moments and the chances that they did create, they took and they have amazing end product. Um, so, you know, I think we have to take confidence from uh, parts of the game. Um, yes, we can improve in some areas, but the next two games will be completely different to the France game and we have to go in with full confidence, you know, that it's wide open. We get a, uh, a win against Tunisia and we're on three points, um, you know, in a, in a good position. So it, we go in with full confidence and we'll do our best to, to get a win in the next match. I saw you at half time as well, just sort of geeing the boys up a bit, you know, um, what were you saying to the guys to you know, keep them going? You know, just say well done, keep our heads. You know, we, we had um, some great moments in the first half. Jacko hit the post, Juki was, was very close on an occasion. We had some couple other moments as well. So, you know, we, we take confidence in that and we take, um, you know, we have to take those positives into the next game. But for now it's, you know, rest and recover and, and then uh, we'll prepare for the Tunisia game. So, speaking of that game then, um, you know, you just mentioned there's some things to work on. So, how do you you know, what do you need to do in these next couple of days? I think it'll be a different uh, different match against Tunisia. I think we saw against Denmark, they were very physical. They were up for the fight. And it's definitely going to be a game that we've got to battle. And we're going to have to win the battle before we can play, um, I guess, the, the beautiful football, so to speak. So we'll be ready for that. But for now, it's right now, it's recover and and um, get the energy back in the legs uh, and then we'll focus on Tunisia. One last question, were you surprised a little bit about how much space you actually had initially as well? Um, yes and no, um, we'd worked on, on those moments, we'd looked at France and, and saw that that was uh, an opportunity, um, all those types of opportunities we could create from that. Um, but you know, obviously when um, Lex got the ball, I just tried to get in that area, arrive in the box, um, and as it came across, my eyes lit up, tried to get good contact on it, and obviously hit the roof of the net. So, you know, it was an amazing moment, um, you know, but uh, yeah, hopefully there's, there's more to come, and, you know, I want to win. I want to win the next game, and, and we believe that we can.